What happened then? <laughs> Jesus, that's how I'm doing. So Dan, Lance, we've we found ourselves here with Lance, Lance as yeah. some say. We'll yeah. come to that later, actually, yeah, with, some, with some yeah. with some colloquialisms. Yeah. How's your week been, old chap? It's been good, actually. It's been good. Yeah, hello, viewer. Um, hope you're all right. I hope your week's been good too. But good yeah, day. yeah, my week's been fine. Yeah. Um, I think we have to say <laughs> we can draw a line in the sand over the cricket. Oh yeah, yeah, cricket's finished. So that's uh, yeah, five test series is gone. What did we do? We lost four nil. Um, yeah, I mean, lucky to lose 4 0, well, I think. It could have been worse. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it could have been. Yeah, yeah thank, thanks to Johnny, Johnny Bairstow, the only, yeah. the only highlight of it. Yeah. I well, know he's put on a bit, hasn't he? I, he yeah, got a bit of stick he, from the crowd. He did get a bit of stick, which, you know, I think is a bit outrageous. There's nothing wrong with putting on a few pounds. He's older. What's yeah. wrong with getting yeah. a bit, you know, exactly. A, exactly. a bit of timber? Yeah, I think it's good. But you know what? It would be easy for us to bemoan the well, efforts just, of the England not team. Not going to stop us, though, is it? Well, it won't stop us. <laughs> but I think we should try and twist it and say, well, what are the good things that well, came out of the ashes? The, the classic clichéd <laughs> after-match interview, you Gosh, know, yes. let's focus on the positives. What yeah. have we learned? What have we learned? <laughs> They what was, are the they're positive? all learning. I know. I know they've got a bloody talent. Absolutely. Lots of learning. Yes. No uh, no improvement. I've got a couple of things. Yes. Might good. Be. Yes. I think one of the positives was it wasn't a seven match series. <laughs> <laughs> because we lost four Good Lord, we that should have lost been. five. Yeah. I can't see us in a month of Sundays yeah. winning a test match with you know, the, the teams as they were. You know, we had a go at Hobart. Yeah. It was day night. Oh. It was Gabba. Yeah. We lost yeah. the task. Yeah. We made the yeah. wrong selection. Yeah. yeah. It was all against yeah. us. A- absolutely. But absolutely. Yeah. The we, positive is the positive. It's right. over. The positive <laughs> is it's over. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, any other positives? I mean, I've I've got one, which is along those along those lines, which is, uh, you know. A bit like a forest fire, you know. You have the Californian forest oh, fires, yeah. and everyone thinks, "Oh my God, what a disaster! Yeah. That's terrible." Well, actually, they're not terrible. Forest fires are are there for a reason because it sort of wipes out the old wood, the dead wood, uh, the, the, the dead wood. The ashes go into the yeah. ground. Ashes Literally. go into the ground, and up what comes. Up yeah. after that is much stronger, younger yeah. uh, trees, which which are, are better at converting yeah. carbon dioxide to oxygen. So so you know, in sort of <laughs> ten years' yeah. time, well, all that California redwood. Well, yeah, but in ten know. years' time, the ashes will rise yes. from the ashes, oh. and so in 2029, we'll have a chance. Magnificent. I mean, if that's yeah. not, a, I'm we surprised you haven't mentioned that. No, it. probably not. <laughs> Do you know why anyone hasn't mentioned that as as one of the positives? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to name names who I think should go or should stay? Yeah, go on. I, I think the director of cricket. Okay. Ashley Giles. Whatever his, whatever his remit okay. is. Okay, yeah. It, he's clearly failed. He's yeah. clearly yeah. failed. Yeah. And he might be a good guy and all those things, yeah. but... Most yeah. people are saying the head coach as well, Chris Silverwood. Chris Silverwood. Well, I sort of liked as a player, but yeah, yeah. he sort of not, doesn't seem that inspiring as a coach. Indeed. Viewers, what do you think? Yeah. Um, there's, there's something I think that was a big positive for mm. me. Those day-night games. Oh, yeah. I with my sleep pattern, yeah. and I expect those of most well, coaches. Yeah. yeah. We were waking not, up lovely and early. They're the only games I watch. Yeah. And, and you are. You know, you, you might wake up at five and think, you know, if you wake up at five and they're playing at, at I know, Sydney, you think, oh, it's yeah. over, over a team. Yeah. Yeah. But wake up at five and it's at Hobart or Adelaide, you think, hang on, I've got four or five hours. No, and five that, hours of cricket to well, watch. It's six hours. And for me, I hope my manager is not watching this, but somebody working <laughs> he from won't home. <laughs> no, he won't watch this. He's not a sports fan, but he's a good guy. Yeah. Um, I had to say that. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, working from home. Yeah. You know, yeah. waking up, cup of tea in bed, yeah. get the iPad yeah. go, then get up and put a shift in. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Two or three hours of yeah. cricket to squeeze yeah. in before yeah. anywhere. So that yeah. was all good. No, that, it, it, it was good, it was good. But well, yeah, you know, I, I felt for Root, you know, should he be the captain? Well, um, I think there's a couple of things. Often, you know, we've seen it perhaps in industry, sorry for the boring managerial speak now, but you don't promote your best worker to be the team leader. You've got all David Brent on you, this. I have. Well. <laughs> but you, you know, there's you other the qualities. <laughs> yeah. There's other qualities. Yeah. You know, you know yeah, here we yeah, go. Definitely. Really. Oh, oh, yeah, couldn't, couldn't you know, play, but what a skipper. Exactly. Getting the best out of your players exactly. is the key to to. to and to we saw cricket. that, from, you know, through the 80s with Brearley. But um, mm. so, A, I don't think Root should remain as captain. Mm. 
B, I don't think Ben Stokes should be captain, although he's vice at the mm. moment. Again, mm. he's our best player, and he shouldn't yeah. be. So they should put someone in there who's got these leadership cap- qualities yeah, and can see the well, game. I, I think they should be picking specialists. I mean, you know, pick your best keeper. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, I mean, this ben, experiment, ben Folks for yeah, me is exactly. the best keeper. The experiment of Butler, Berstow, and whoever we've had yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Billings, yeah, Billings yeah. this week yeah. you know they have a go at batting they yeah. have a go yeah. at keeping yeah. I mean I don't know that there was many critical keeping errors it was a couple oh, of drop catches but, Butler was, Butler was, was poor, yeah. but um, you know certainly there wasn't any stumpings because we haven't got a spinner no, that no. spins it or no. entices them out of the crease so get rid of this bloody wicket keeping nonsense pick your best keeper Ben pick Folks best can keeper. bat well, he can bat, but don't worry about that. Yeah. Pick your best He's keeper. He's a damn good keeper. You know, back in the day, Alan Knott, Bob Taylor. Godfrey you Evans. Godfrey Evans, you had your best keeper. Yeah. Godfrey Evans, good Lord. Anyone know who Clifton Godfrey Evans? Richards. Who? Clifton Richards. Cliff Richards. Who played... <laughs> Cliff Richards. Who was from Penzance and played for Surrey. <laughs> Did he? And he had an Afro hair. Oh, what, Jack Richards? No, no, oh. Clifton. Clifton Richards. No. Google Before him. Before my time. Google him. Before He's my the only time. person out of Cornwall with an Afro. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, he had a mop of beautiful curly hair. I like that. That's Good lovely. Keeper. Yeah. Played for Surrey. Did it? Yeah, we'll look that. Late 70s. Late, really? Yeah, late 70s. We'll, we'll pause this in a moment. When yeah. we come back to it, yeah. we'll have a, yeah, I've probably got the name wrong. Yeah. yeah. Jack Richards. Well, Jack Richards. Richards Jack Richards was was was. was his, I, I think he was a West Country boy. Well, he was he, a Surrey keeper in the late seventies. So, so it, would be, it, would be, it was his brother Clifton. I was thinking of who I played against for Camborne. Ah, who okay. ran a chippy. Ah, oh, was okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Kieran will know all about that. <laughs> oh dear. However, Very good. So yeah, I think yeah. that's a, a good point. Ollie Robinson. I think I, you're I, a fan I, I like Ollie yeah. Robinson. I think he's a good bowler. Yeah, because obviously someone's got to replace Paul mm. and Anderson. They can't go on forever. And no. brilliant though they are, you, you've got to have. Well, you you know, who's, who's coming next? Yeah, and um, I think the the perennial problem, since we lost Cook and Strauss, you'd mm. argue, we haven't had a opening partnership. Oh for man, that's five that's, years that's, now. that's terrible. And there's all this stuff about it's the wickets and stuff, but it might well be. But you know, it, same for both teams. It, well, it is the same for both teams, Ish, but, but we play here on four day games that are in April and September. Um, uh, yeah. where the wickets are, are just rubbish and you know guys yeah. like Darren Darren Stevens can, yeah, can, can trundle in and, yeah. and, and, and get people out on, on soft tracks so, um, uh, yeah no we don't help ourselves but you know I, I, uh, I kind of think the talent is here it's got to be within the English is. game of course it is it's just it's a bit about the management fine tuning that getting that yeah. right yeah. and then selection well and I think you've got to pick cricketers who are cricketers and let them be cricketers you know yeah. there's too much sort of tinkering and, and yeah, no, o- no. over strategising well, just play cricket that, you know? the selections we saw in the first two tests again oh, we spoke about that last bonkers, week yes, over over thinking. Thinking. Yeah. we're going all codger yeah. oh yeah. I've got another positive oh. um, test match special um, I know there's a lot we, we, did we talk last week about female commentators sport commentators well, did, in yes. general we, we, Alex Hartley, yes, um, who I think is a spinner for England. I don't yeah. know whether she's a leggy or an offie. Northern she's, lady, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she is really, really good. She's brilliant for Test match special yeah. because she's got that sort of character, bit of wit about her, yeah. it's a bit punchy, you know. She and and, okay. and I think she's great. Yeah. But obviously, she plays cricket for England, so she does know know the game. So. Yeah. Alex Hartley, real positive. Um, Unlike us, us. <laughs> we don't play cricket. We don't know anything us, about it. Hear us going really, on We don't know really anything about it, but you know, we're, 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 we're trying to entertain, yeah, not, not, right. not, not, so we're not proper pundits. So I think there's been a great ashes in, in summary. Brilliant. Yeah. There's some great positives yeah. that's come out of it, yeah. including Ashley yeah. Huntley. Yeah. What's her name? I don't know. Oh, Hartley. Alex Hartley. Is that a spoonerism? Uh, no, no, no. We'll come, we'll come up to those in a minute. Uh, um, and, and Gower. Gower's back on oh, the yeah, Gower's Sport, back. which was, yeah, I mean, you know, class act. I like the way Gower was kind of um, absorbing and pillowing yeah. the all Aussie pillowing. Yeah. commentators yeah. like McGraw, yeah, 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 yeah. well, uh, Mark Taylor. Yeah. yeah, they're all good mates. But yeah, Gower was a, a real yeah. solid yeah. Yeah, good, good to see him back. back. Good to see him back. Sky oh, yeah. should never let, let him go. Well... Silly old sky. That's anyway, a little positive. Yeah. Excellent. So, that was a good debate. Yeah. It was a good debate. It was a good debate. I hope you enjoyed it. Viewers, give us your views. Yeah. Um, tell us what, what you think, where you think it went wrong, and what you think the positives were. I think is the uh, it's the best thing. You'd be as funny and silly as you like. Of course. Yeah. We welcome yeah. that. Yeah. Unlike, good. unlike us being funny and silly. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Well, enough of that. We'll um, we'll see you after the break. Oh, straight up in the air. First slips under it. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, you're early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm much more punctual when I'm in my own house. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it's easier for you to be somewhere yeah. on time. Yeah. Listen, viewer, um, something interesting happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. I mm. mentioned something, and one of our correspondents, who's from Cornwall, Kieran, hi, Kieran, he said to me in a, in a comment, Lance, I'm surprised that you said, let's look at that later. You should say, let's look at that directly. Ah, now, I'm surprised you remember. What? Codger. What his name? Or <laughs> what anything. Said. Anything. <laughs> but it led me to a thinking. Yes. We mentioned a couple of weeks ago, yeah. and it just come back to me, we should do a little session on advanced Cornish. Advanced Cornish, yes, you remember that. You mentioned that. I yeah. mentioned that. Now, you know, I'm the self-proclaimed Cornish Coley. Mm -hmm. It's no secret that I'm from Cornwall and proud of it. But there's a, you know, there's a strong accent. Yep. Uh, I've been away 36 years. Yes. But still, still, have, there. still, still there. I'm proud yeah. that people recognise that I'm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I thought, Dan, I'd teach you some advanced Cornish. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm a willing learner, always looking to. You're always, yeah, you're a yeah. So we're going to start off slowly. Yes. Because you're a new learner. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to ask, what do you think the phrase directly means? Straight away? No, it doesn't. No, not at all. That's right. That's, that right? that's the. No, that's that's the in, that's you fall into your the trap. trap immediately. Uh, he's good, isn't he? So, yeah. so <coughs> directly is a Cornish pronunciation of the words directly. So you that's what I meant. That's yeah. what you'd think. That's what you'd think it was. But, but no, no, directly no. means later. Um, I'll see you directly. Oh, oh we'll do later. that directly. Doesn't mean yeah. to say we're going to do it right now. Yeah. It means it's we're going to do later. it this evening or to, well, even tomorrow. Yeah. Because that's Mara. I'll see you Mara for that. I'm glad you call it Cornish because it's not English at all. No, I know. It's bloody mad. That's the point. It's plenty of this stuff. <laughs> Good. And What's the next? And thing? there's only a few. All right. Oh, really? <laughs> no, we're next. Directly. 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 Oh, directly. Right. I'm going to refer to my notes Good. here. Yeah, you do There's that. a couple of things. He's always writing notes. When you when you meet someone mm. in Cornwall, yeah. you don't say, oh, hello, how are you, how do you do? All right, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? All right, are you? All right, are you? Oh, That's I, the way it goes. I, I, I thought everyone was called Harry. No. <laughs> are you? Harry? All right, are you? All right, are you? <laughs> hey, right, are you? Hey, you are you? Yeah. So, you know, there's this... I mean, we'll go to Leicestershire yeah. with you in a couple of weeks' time. Okay. I've, I've forgotten it all. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, all right. So, viewers, I want you to adopt this at home when you're meeting loved ones and family soon <laughs> and greet them yeah. with this yeah. rather yeah. pleasant okay. and charming... Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, you no, see, you're a bit there, Devon. Not a bit Devon. <laughs> you are. So, you know... Oh, yeah. Hey, well, all right. A term of endearment. Yes. This is advanced Cornish now. Right. You can get away with this. Mm -hmm. So if you were a close family member, mm. I could say, all right, my cock. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm not lying anything. Oh, I've got a Leicestershire equivalent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I hope me duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me duck. Yeah. I don't think it has the... I did, well, obviously, you're not, you're not using the word cock. Yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, we, we've got long cocks. So yeah, I know. But my grandmother, my <coughs> man, bless her, would, would often call me her... Her cock. <laughs> <laughs> this is going better than I thought, this lesson. So, all right, my cock. Yeah. Now, a couple of phrases now. Yes. So, I'm going to put these words together. Yeah. And, yeah. And, right, so, one of the things, I mentioned it the other day, actually, I was the youngest cricketer in our team, mm -hmm. me and a couple of fellas my age, Mad Mitch, Giller, me, and uh, Weeksy. But we were playing with men, you know, that were yeah. tough men in yeah. those days. And, um, tin miners. Yeah, they're all tin miners down there. <laughs> Bloody nasty mate. Yeah, they, yeah, all of that. Yeah, there you go. Anything and else they're all thick. You're all thick, as you know. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, but you know, <laughs> look at any drama on TV. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. We're an ethnic minority, by the way, now. Oh, yeah. yeah, recognised by Europe and all I that like stuff. That. That's good. So, yeah. going back to my story mm. about growing up and playing cricket with tough yeah. men, there was yeah. a phrase they used to use. We'd go away games, and there was, mm. you know, the oppo never kicked off, mm. but a phrase was, they'd rather fight than eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> right. Yeah. That's a that's a Cornish. Yeah. What the phrase? What's it mean? Well, the, they they try to fight. You know, they would quickly. In oh, the oh, so they they'd rather go. they'd rather have a go yeah, than do something pleasant. Yeah, exactly. Got it. You know, yeah. the the, the, the yeah. you know the basics of eating. Yes. You know, meat. Yes. Like eating. Yeah, I'll, they, I'll, I'm, I'm there. Side. I'm there. Yeah. Because they want okay. to focus on the fighting. Yeah. Very and good. there's another one, of course. This is, I don't know if I can get away with this, folks, so Dan might have to go into the editing suite yeah, okay. for this. And that is, um, when something's unpleasant, mm-hmm. you say, I'd rather be tied to a bull's ass shit leaking. <laughs> I think we can keep that in. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think everyone gets it. So. And I, I think, <laughs> but what I think I'd like you to do, Dan. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. You know, it, you're yeah. a metropolitan man. You know, yes. we're living in, you know, affluent South Croydon mm-hmm. and all that. And you've got it all going on. But I want you to incorporate these in some of the discussions and conversations you're having. Oh, okay, yeah, over the next I'll try. I'll try. Okay, so uh, last ones. Yeah. Last ones. This is high level. This mm. is NVQ mm. level three now. <laughs> right, right. Uster, Worcester, and Custer. Ah. Uh, Any ideas? Uster. Uster, Worcester, and Custer. Custer. Yeah. No. Uster, I ought to. Ah. Uh, Worcester, I, I would have done. Yeah, would, I, would, I would do. I would do. And Custer, I could do. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Do that, Custer. It's, it's a bit like coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, only, it's the Cornish equivalent. The Cornish. Yeah. So, you know, you could yeah, put that in, cool. Let's put that into a sentence, shall we? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, in fact, that, uh, yeah, that happened when, when I was at university. I'm going back to probably 83 or something. And, and one of our people in our residence uh, had a, a, a couple of her friends up from, from you know, her hometown for the weekend, which always happens at yeah. university. And, and one of them I took a bit of a shine to. Yeah. But being sort of shy and, and retiring in those days, and still am, I didn't do anything about it. But um, directly, exactly. directly. Yeah. But 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 apparently she was sort of you know rather keyed on me and oh, sort of you know we sort of, so so the phrase that everyone sort of drilled me with after after the <laughs> uh, magic off was was shoulda coulda would've. yeah that's yeah, right yeah, yeah, exactly so it you know missed out it? yeah 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 and I think yeah. between perhaps. Camborne and Great Glen, mm-hmm. you know, or no, this was University. Yes, yes, so Norwich, UEA. Norwich, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, University of Easy Access. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, that's yeah. 250 miles, but the principle yeah. is still there. And do you know what, viewers? You know, I, I think around, we're global, aren't we? We're, aren't we, Dad? Yes. <laughs> Our viewers are. Yes, yes, yes. Know, we, we so have, far we got, as we Lancashire. Got, no, 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 no. no. We, we got, we got, we got a people chap in, in, in Virginia. We've got... Mike Williams in Paris. We've got the guys in Australia. Yeah, we, we, we've got them all over. With Panama, we've got people in Panama. Hello, Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, the Panama. world. Yes. Hello, the world. Coming to you from <laughs> live, my front room. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is showbiz, isn't it? Dan? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think the important thing is, you know, I'm proud of being away. Thirty-six years, you know, yes. leaving that place behind. Yes. No, no. But the fact that I still got that Cornish accent, mm. I don't want to lose that. Yeah. And nor yeah. you know, should we lose these? No, you're right. You're silly right. Yeah. things that we say, and, and yeah. everybody will have their own. Well, yeah. And whilst we're on, I don't know if it's yeah. time to move on. But whilst Lingual. we're on sort of ling- linguistic yeah. things, um, we touched a little bit on on Spoonerism last week, and uh, yeah. you know, with the um, uh, Cupid stunt story, easy. Ken Everett, and, and yeah, easy and. Um, and I thought actually there's there's more gold in in spoonerisms yeah. uh, and um, and it, it uh, I remembered in the week that we had a brilliant one this guy at school who was a very good cricketer true story actually. it's a true story yeah, yeah okay your story yeah 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 yeah, yeah, okay. yeah he was a very good cricketer plays for played probably still plays for Gumley Cricket Club in Leicestershire hello Gumley wow. played there many times a wonderful little ground yeah. in the middle of nowhere they're all farmers and one chap. Uh, was called Dennis Pickering. Now, the the the, the, um, the uh, good thing about Dennis is that he, he only had one end in Dennis. So, so if you look at it and do the spoonerism, then he was penis dickering, and, and, and he was his nickname at school was penis. I mean, you know, great. He couldn't have got it, it any better. Could, it couldn't have got any better. Yes. So, uh, are you so, in contact with penis? No, now? no, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. Or um, No, no, I'm not. But if, if, if you're out there, penis, watch this <laughs> say, that, say get hello in <laughs> get in touch um, uh, yes. and, and just in Let's case connect. you just in case you want a reference point I'm Wally Allen's son uh, because he'll know Wally is anyway, that spoonerism? 
No, it's not. No, no it doesn't not, really actually. work when you've got a It's a, better a, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, but viewers, if you've got any great spoonerisms that you've come yeah. across in your life, let, let, let's hear them. Because Particularly names. Oh, well, they're nearly always names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, well, you're yeah. one, the other one. You're the alternative to... <laughs> Mary Hinge was Mary Hinge. Mary Hinge, yeah. So that, yeah. that all yeah. worked well. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's a great one. That's that. a little, that's, that's say, just, just say that again. The name again. Oh, what? Dennis Pickering. Dennis Pickering. Hello, Dan. I hope you're still with us, <laughs> and you might get to see this one. Yeah, bloody good cricketer. Really? Yeah, what? he was great. Yeah, he hit, hit the ball hard. Yeah, he hit the ball hard. He bowled as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant, classic. Swung it both ways. Yeah, and the ball. <laughs> Fully yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. Penis Dickering. Yeah, penis Dickering. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done, Dan. God, that was filth. <laughs> Dan, it's that time of the week again. Yeah, room looks different from here. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you, Dan. <laughs> Very good. Uh, it's that time of the week again. Although you see a man is. smiling on the outside. Yeah. Inside, I'm yeah, like a you, you are a cold spirit. You can you feel a rant? Man. I can feel a rant coming. You can up. sense a Roger a rant. rant. Yeah, a Roger Cant. Thank you very yes. much. Well remembered. Yes, yes you runt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you Cornish runt. <laughs> Been called that before. Yeah, I bet you have. By some of those fellas yeah. that would rather yeah. eat meat. Yeah. So yes, I tell you what um, is on my mind this week. Mm. Yeah, tell me. It's aspects of modern life. Right. That we're all expected to buy into, agree with, and and have liked. Okay. I'll give you a couple of examples. Yes. One of them, mm -hmm. I'm a man past 60, and for 40 years I've had to put up longer. For 40 years? No, for, more for longer. <laughs> no, no, but this but is. Go on. But the match of the day theme to. Oh. I detest it. I do too, actually. I always have. And but I, I hate football. You hate football. Well, you like per football. Se. I. I've gone off football. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's you know, it's a, it's that's another that's another rant, by the way. It is another rant. I not for tonight. No, I got plenty of other anger good. inside me. Yeah, and I think with men, the good thing is you should bottle it up and then suddenly let go. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. You Doesn't know. do any good though bottling things up. <laughs> no, I think it does. <laughs> Come on, then. So, so I can remember as a mm. kid. Boys that I played football with in the play, mm. they would hum and sing the match of the day theme oh, to no, really? when we were in the playground. You know, some of them would have a ball no, and we'd go off and play. Yeah. yeah, and I wanted yeah. then in those days yeah. to say, shut up! And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I yeah. hated the yeah, bloody thing. Yeah, yeah, no. So, yes, I hate that. Right, that's that one. And I tell you, what I think I've missed the boat with, and I think mm. it's part of the almost the king's new clothes. I don't get Ed Sheeran. No, no, I don't. No, you. You're a music connoisseur. Yeah, I mean he's he's clever. He's a good songwriter. Yeah, but but that's it. Everybody, yeah. you know, you, you when he comes on the TV, yeah. he's very middle of the road yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, yeah. So you can't you can't rebel. Ed Sheeran. You know? No, not at all. He's like you know. I suppose the closest he is to to a classic is like I don't know Bob Dylan or something or Neil Young. Oh. They were bloody rebels and brilliant. Yeah, and he's just he's just know, and I think, turns out bland pack yeah. the masses. I wonder, you, you know, I don't want to say it, but I kind of put Adele in the same bloody boat. Is it a British thing that Adele is this world oh, star? Yeah, I think she's incredibly talented, though. Mm. And she's a good it's character. Me. She's a good character. Well, ah, she's now interesting. This, the I know what the you mean. voice of an angel yeah. when she's singing. Yeah. But oh, when you listen to her, well, that's like a I bloody that's, sewer. I think that's part of the appeal. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's me. Oh, All right. right. Yeah. I'll take that. Okay. A couple more, if I may. Um, you know this, and we are diametrically mm. opposed here. Mm. It. I. I don't understand. I don't get it. Mm. I can see the benefits mm -hmm. of it. And all that goes with it. But I think I've got IT dyslexia. Right. So when I'm, you know, on my machine mm -hmm. and something, and I've got to do something, I get mm. one of those boxes, mm. I just don't understand what those really? words mean. Uh, I call in a teenager, you know, yeah. one of my own, yeah. I say, what? Well, oh, I need one of those. Yeah. 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 You know, I can do a yeah. bit of emailing, I yeah. understand it's called, mm. and Word. But I. Mm. I is it you don't like it or you're just not, not, not I'm not good, good at it. it yeah 
So but that's why I don't like If you like don't like it. something, you won't be good. Yeah, and I, I don't... And you don't want to, you haven't got the passion yeah. for it. So that's, that's, that's fair enough. But yeah. you, you do seem to manage to, to survive. Yeah, I have. I, I get by. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So the last one in this, because mm. I've, I've come off the precipice now, yes. I'm, I'm a more relaxed yeah, man. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Because you've got to chill, yeah. like you say, you've got to... Let it out and you chill. Yeah, yeah, no, I can see that. The other one that gets me going is sunglasses. <laughs> People that wear sunglasses. What if it's sunny? There's a. <laughs> I think. That's only acceptable because they're called sunglasses. Right, okay. But so when, sun- it's not gla- when it's not sunny, yeah. what the hell are you what doing? What the hell are you doing wearing sunglasses? And indoors, you get some of them, they even wear them indoors or at night. Yeah. What the hell yeah. is all that about? What, what, what about if you're a rock star? No, even, well, you know, show us how bloody bad your eyes look because right, you've been okay. on the juice all night. Yeah. If you've got a medical condition, mm, mm. then yeah, I'll well, cut uh, you some yeah, slack. Yeah, yeah, but ordinarily, unless it's really oh, sunny, then yeah. don't, don't wear sunglasses. And, yeah. you know, okay. going back to a, an era of chips. you're hiding something, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Chips. And chips. Do you want the old dick? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Those two yeah. fellas yeah. who yeah. introduced this cool look. What does that look? stand for? The sun, the California, California Highway Patrol. Highway ah, Patrol, HR, yeah, yeah. Highway Patrol, yeah. And um, so, yeah, those two fellas with their, you know, uniforms yeah, and their yeah, yeah. aviator yeah, yeah. style yeah, sunglasses. Yeah. Ah, their good looks. What, what was his name? What was it? Yeah. Estrada. Was Mario it Mario? No, Estrada. Estrada. Yeah. Or something like Didn't that. Didn't they come on from um, the Miami Sound Machine? <laughs> I don't think so. Don't think so. <laughs> but they could have done. <laughs> I, I wish. I, no, it was somebody. Who was it? And Gloria Estefan. Yeah, Gloria Estefan. She was the, the brother of yeah. the fella in Chips. Yeah, I think. The and brother. she went east to, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to Miami. Miami. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's me rants for the week. Good. I like. And I, I, nice I, so if I can just crystallise it, so that our viewer can mm. contribute to this. Yes. It's modern aspect of aspects aspect of modern, of modern life, life that you're supposed to yeah, like that you're supposed to but but is just I, I just yeah. you know okay. see what you come up with Bill. Yeah, be interested in your absolutely. thoughts absolutely yeah. good yeah you know what it's time for now for only one thing I reckon album of the week see you on the other side five balls a wicket here make it interesting and there it was so um, very interesting. So, uh, we're not there yet, we're not at the end, because what's become very popular is Dan's Album of the Week. Album of the Week, yeah, yeah. You've gone a bit, well, high, high brow? No, well, I don't think so. I've picked, uh, spurred on by Martin Hesley down there in Devon, um, who, who actually... He Have you heard him speak before? No, I haven't heard, him, terrible I haven't heard him speak, but, but he uses his wife's email account so or youtube account so so he's elaine hesley but we can um, um, I see Welcome. your, your, your secret is safe with, with us martin yeah. stroke elaine box, hey. but but he he mentioned that his first album that he bought um was uh, uh, this fine masterwork genesis land lies down on broadway it was peter gagel's last album with genesis yeah. um and they were all on absolute fire it was almost a breakup of genesis because it was just a real tough album to make stroke of genius Steve Hackett, Phil Collins, uh, Mike Rutherford and Tony Banks yes. with Gabriel just being absolute geniuses. There's been nothing like it before or since. Broke the mould of prog, prog rock and uh, 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 you know inspired many others. So great, what great it? album. Just a, a year? Uh, 75 I think. Yeah. 74 or 75. It's a good, good question. I should know. Uh, but yeah, I think it's and, and then the inside, inside Dan. Dan. What, what's the inside? That's all, interesting. All the it? inside is the story. It was a Peter Gabriel who was probably um, you know a bit high and stuff. He just this <laughs> short story came to him yes. about this bloke. But anyway, and he wrote to, he did the album about it. Yeah. People don't need to know that. But uh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, genius piece of work. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, next week we've got more albums of the week I presume there'll be another one next, next yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not and sure. it's interesting to see what the correspondents come in what their albums Ooh. have been. We've had a real mix. We, we have, we have. And, and we, we've, had, we've had some good ones, uh, you know, Springsteen, Dar Straits, yeah. um, you know, a bit of Floyd, a bit Kick of... Kick Creel. Kick Creel hasn't had a mention oh, yet, okay. it, interestingly enough. I might have to use my wife's email account and surreptitiously yeah. put Kick maybe, Creel. Maybe. But talking of Kick Creel, we did have, we did have a nice message from one of our viewers, um, who was God, actually. Who? Yeah, God. God. Yeah, God God sent us a nice little message. Yes. Um, and what did he say? He said, uh, let's have a look. Sorry, viewers, it's uh, bear with. Oh, here he is. So, um, from God, best YouTube channel ever, Five Hearts. So, 
Thank you, God. God loves everybody. God loves everybody. But and he really loves, loves us. us. Yes. So, God, thank, thank you very you. much. It's not nice. Is it great that God can get a good signal yeah. and tune yeah. into our yeah. little well, yeah, tree house? Well, he doesn't have IT problems like, no, like, 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 like me. Like me. Yeah, but um, I'm no God, am I? No. Well, only with a bat. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So Brilliant. Um, yeah, I love that. Yeah, Dan. that's good. That's good. So, we're, we're there, aren't we? Um, ne- next week, what do you think we've got in store for next week? <clears throat> next week, we've got... Um, uh, uh, a codger moment. There it was. What was it that we well, said? Well, we were thinking about codger ailments. Oh yes, ailments. Mm. Hey, and, and why not? Why not? If we, if you're watching why it not? this week, <laughs> and why not? Yeah, yeah. Why not? You know, warm us up a bit. Yeah. And send, send us, us your, send us your codger ailments. And we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll have prepare. a go. <laughs> we'll have a go. See what we can do. We'll yeah. see if we can yeah. treat yeah. them for yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah. uh, any psychological ones as well. We're going to be on relationship uh, maybe, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We can yeah. do any of this yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, so Could we have God on our side as well? Yeah. We have, we have. And That'd be brilliant. God on your side, yeah. Love that, Dan. Yeah, thank you, mate. Should and we? just, well, hang on, there's oh. one more thing that, that we forgot to mention in the positives coming out of the ashes. Yes. Which is that, of course, regular viewers will remember from, I think, 2019, we had that amazing instant where, you know, Greg McLean was bowling, the ball hit the off stump and the bales didn't come off, but they hopped onto the thing. So amazing incident, which was very similar to the Stokes being bowled, but yep. the bales not coming off. Ours was better though, because the bales yeah, on the So, so um, but the guys, um, you had Vaughny and Warney um, <laughs> on, on Fox Foxy. Sports, Foxy, on Foxy Sports. Sports at the Sydney Test were talking about our little moment yeah. and they and they had a little clip of it didn't credit us or anything like that yeah. but it was there so um yeah. that's that's going to be our closing little bit that, yeah that, 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 that little clip that was so and by the way good. of all people in terms of cricketing gods sachin was well, at, at the time sachin did, yeah. did put it out on his twitter and facebook so it's yeah it's a massively yeah it's a and, and i always say i always say that you know, great moments. Great moments happen in all cricket, right? Yeah. Great moments, but they're only great moments if they're on film. Yeah. So you know, start start thinking about filming filming yeah. cricket if you. If and whoever your god is, start using the filming to film your own god. Yes. Moment. Yes. 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 Whatever he said. Whatever that means. Cheers, viewers. Well, well done. done. Well stuck. Well done. Yeah. Well, anyone that's still there, well done. You deserve a minute. <laughs> Till next week. All the best. Cheerio. I think the bales should be dislodged. I think that's the bales have to be dislodged. I think it's otherwise. If things does it just skim it, it's going to take too much time out of the game. Do you review everything. Oh, hang on, that might have hit the stumps because you heard a noise. Mm. So. Yeah, but it's definitely something to discuss. I mean, who are we to kind of question Sachin Tendulkar? But I can guarantee if Sachin was still playing the game, <laughs> I think he may want the bale to come off. Well, what happens when the bales are dislodged but then relodged? What would you do this at the ICC if you saw this happen? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no what, what are you particularly doing in that situation? I don't, that's not out. Not out. That's extraordinary fortune. That's more fortunate than the stoker. Look at this. The bale just skips across and lands in the alternate groove. Well, it's an actually an interesting one because I think the laws of the game must stand to be corrected that the bale must be removed from both grooves. Now, that bale actually got removed from both grooves mm, but sat on the stump. So Do you think that's so, now out? Well, yeah, maybe. because I yeah. Well, maybe, because it removed both grooves. We need Laurie. Get Laurie with the laws. Too hard Laurie basket, yeah. that one. That's what it is. It's